Hello guys, my name is Hidden and welcome back to my first commentary. Yay, I'm not from England, so that's why my English is a little bit bad. But yeah, I will show you, I, I will have a tutorial today. And I'm going to show you guys how you can edit in a timer in your speedruns. Yay. And this is in the Sony Vegas Pro 13. So yeah, I'm not going to show you how you like render or best render settings. I'm just going to show you the editing part. So yeah file open I'm just gonna use a really freaking old speedrun so yeah really really old I think it was like 59 seconds I don't really know I'm speedrun yo and you just open it so yeah um so yeah what you wanna do now first is right click here insert video track click there and you will see a new video track here so what you want to do now this is really important before you do the next step this thing here where you can choose like where you are in the video you gotta put this on zero, zero here oh it's on one now it's gonna be on zero no zero oh my god it's on one okay that doesn't make that doesn't matters so much it's okay with one but yeah so what you want to do now is right click on this video track here and in the top click insert text media so yeah and it will bring up this thing and uh, you will just delete sample text and here this is really important on duration you can see it's set at five seconds. That means the timer will will reset in the five seconds, and we do not want that. So we just click here, put in a nine. So that's like nine years. It will never reset. So yeah, you can close that, and it will bring up this thing. So yeah, just drag it like that. This thing, just drag it to so it lines with those. And yeah, so now what you want to do now? is um yeah you want to right click on your new thing here new video track the text media thing right click here and media fx just click there and here plugin user just find sony time code just click on it one time and click ok and now you can just close that so now you can see the timer will start at the beginning of the video so so now you gotta find where you're starting all this and you gotta pause when you start wait there we go there are starting so you pause there so this thing is uh when you when you like started so yeah now you just right click whatever you want on this video track and right click insert slash remove envelope and hold on that and just click velocity and you will see this green kind of thing here green line and now what you want to do is double click um just double click on the green line where this thing are where you started so i'm just going to double click here there we go i double clicked and you can see i made a mark so what you want to do now is you can see a little mark here at uh, the left side so right click on that mark click set to zero velocity and what you want to do now you can see a, a line between those marks you're gonna right click on the line between those marks like that and <laughs> click hold so yeah now the beginning part is done and now we just have the ending part so you can see uh, w it will start when the video starts it's really laggy here but it won't be laggy after you render it it's just here so yeah <coughs> sorry for that and yeah so now we're gonna find our ending part like oh I already ended here so yeah you're gonna pause when you end we want to time it to stop there we go 59.20 so now you have the thing here set at that so you wanna double click on the green line wh where you end so it's here there we go and now what you want to do is right click on the mark you just made right click there and set to zero velocity and 
now you can see a line in between the starting mark and the ending mark. So you just right click on the line between the end starting mark, mark and the ending mark. Right click and click hold. There you go. And now it's actually done. That's pretty easy, huh? So you can see it will start when you start run. As you can see it's pretty laggy and the end it will end when you end. It's like fifty nine seconds. So yeah, that's about it guys. Now I recommend you to, if you're a noob in Sony Vegas, just find a video on YouTube how to um, uh, get the best rendering settings like here, like project properties, and then your rendering stuff. So you just look, render as, and then, what? So yeah, that's, whoa, whoa, whoa. That just closed Sony Vegas, that's weird. So yeah, that's about it guys, bye.